Well, let me ask you. Yeah. What is it like to take over a series or to join a series that uh, so many people remember as something else? I mean, the olden days of Star Trek and now the next generation. Scary. Uh, because uh, I, I, think, I don't think any of us actually anticipated that it was going to take off quite in the way it did. Um, certainly we wanted it to. And, uh, but the odds, I think, were pretty much stacked against us. Uh, trying to duplicate uh, the success of another show, particularly a classic, um, was utterly unexpected. And, uh, but by this point in time, we've done over 80 episodes now. It feels real comfortable. Now, I had heard that this show was actually uh, almost on network TV about oh, five or ten years back they had tried doing it. Really? Yeah. They, they didn't contact me about that. Oh, well, we <laughs> I wonder why. I do, too. Playing Data, uh -huh. um, do people at all think of you now as the Spock of the 90s? Or? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> do you think of me as the Spock of the 90s? Well, not really. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of, I, I like to think of myself more as the Schwarzenegger of the show, you know? <laughs> How would you describe the character of Data? Um, well, uh, it, it's difficult to do in a capsule because he's, a, he's becoming much more complex a character. But uh, if you'd asked me that when we started the show, I would have said he's a blank page, basically, uh, with a bit of programming. And um, at this point, He's so utterly complex. Uh, he's, I really think, there are times when I think Data may actually be human. He just doesn't know it. Now, I heard that this season you might be playing uh, Data's, or last season, or one of the seasons you're going to be playing Data's twin and his creator. Right. I actually have done that already. And it's one of the first episodes coming up this season. And what was that like? It was great. It was really fun. Um, uh, other than having a four-hour makeup job, to play Dr. Noonien Sung, who is the creator, who's somewhere between 90 and 150, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was fun. It gave me the opportunity to work with my two favorite actors, because uh, in every scene that there were three people, all of them were me. And uh, uh, it, it, was, it was a particularly interesting and challenging episode, I think. I, I really enjoyed doing that. Now, has this opened up doors for you acting-wise with other jobs? I don't know, because I haven't had time to knock on any of these doors. Uh, we work for ten months out of the year, and then we have two months off. And uh, I, in the first three seasons, I just haven't had any time at all to even pursue anything else. So I'm hopeful. How long will you continue with Star Trek? Well, um, I, I suppose as long as it goes uh, up to a limit. I mean, we all have uh, six-year contracts, and we're in our fourth year now. so. I think everybody's pretty hopeful that we'll go the, the entire six years, and uh, after that, it's anybody's guess. Do you think you ever might go on to the big screen as the former cast did? Th that would be nice. It would be fun to do a you know, $30 million episode and see what, uh, what kind of stuff we could come up with on that scale. What do you think attracts people to Star Trek? Um, I think there's a couple of things, basic things, that attract people to Star Trek. For one thing, it's it's a very hopeful vision uh, of the future and uh, I, I think particularly now, I don't know if particularly now, maybe always, people have been uh, concerned about the possibility that there would even be a future and um, Star Trek tells us that there is going to be a future and it's going to be exciting and, uh, and I think it's that basically hopeful positive vision of the future that hooks people. Um, also I think there's, a, there's an aspect to the show that that is important and I think affects people and that's that uh, it, it really promotes the idea of equality I believe of all people and the respect and tolerance for all beings whether they're uh, humans or Ferengis or Klingons or whatever and I think that's a very attractive quality. Now a lot of the stars or some of your co-stars are now doing the convention circuit. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that's good or bad? I mean, a lot of people just becoming obsessed with a show like that. Uh, uh, I, well, I don't think of it as good or bad, actually. It just sort of is. And um, a as far as the obsession with the show, I think it's, it's actually a healthy obsession. I mean, uh, I don't know that it's particularly different than any other uh, thing that people bond around. as a, a reason for people to come together and meet other people and bond and 
uh, I think Star Trek's as good a reason to do that as any because, uh, as I say, it's a very positive um, reinforcement in people's lives. So uh, I think it's quite okay. Now, the show itself, I mean, it is one of the most successful in first-run syndication. Uh -huh. And you are have to be, from what I've heard, one of the most popular characters. Um, how has success treated you? Jeez, uh, uh, pretty well, actually. Uh, I mean, um, I, I regard success as going to work every day. And um, that's really been the best aspect of it. In terms of uh, glamour and things like that, well, it... it I haven't experienced that yet, but uh, maybe once the show wraps and I actually have some time to go out into the world and uh, find out what effect I've had, I'll, I'll find out. And what will be the future of Data and Star Trek? Um, I really don't know. Um, I, I don't write the show, and uh, they pretty much determine what the future of the character in the show is going to be. But uh, What would you like to see this? Well, I'd like to see it continue pretty much along the, the path that it's going right now, where uh, Data's making basically an arc from being pure machine to uh, some kind of combination of human and machine uh, as, he, as he understands more and more of the human experience. I think he gets closer and closer to being a human without actually becoming one. Well, I appreciate the time and good luck with the show. Okay, Barry, thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye.